to my channel, I'm Lori, and welcome to the Chatty Bookworm. How is everybody doing good today? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is gonna be for this is gonna be my TBR for the magical readathon aquarium. Aquarium? I forgot how you say the word, but it's G, G from G Rose Creation. Um, yeah, and it's just this made up world that she made. And it has to do with school and stuff like that. And there's different um, things you can be and stuff like that. I, I'm not good at explaining. So if I remember, I will um, put her video down below. And you guys can watch it so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, I didn't do, um, like I did the like there was seven prompts or something like that I can't remember all together there's ten prompts all together I believe if I'm not mistaken and um yeah and um I did the two main ones but I didn't do anything for the characters but first let me tell you before I get any further let me tell you that this starts on Monday it's from the 14th to the 20th um and the first one was like set it up your like your path and your um and set it up your character I guess that's what you would say this this time you're like I think you're I'm trying to remember what exactly she explained see I'm so bad at knowing like what I'm knowing about this so but you're just trying to gear up so you're trying to get your weapons I guess you could say but I have to um do the ones for my character still background. Um, she did say, G did say, like, if you read um, certain books that uh, fulfill the character prop already, that um, after the time of the of the last readathon, which is was the uh, month of August, so anything after September, I believe, or recent, I would just say recently. I would say this year. I don't know if that's what she said. Like, you can watch, but all of her videos. And you don't have to do it with us. Like, you can, like, you know, like, do it at your own pace and then get caught up to where we are. Um, G said that she's not sure if next month is going to be the whole month where the readathon is going to take place because of her health. She wanted to do it in April, but, like I said, her health is really bad right now. So, she don't know if she could do it in April. So, um, and th why this is only a week, she said that if you want to, like, do it for the whole month just to get caught up. If you're behind, that you can do that. You can go at your own pace, like I was saying. So yeah. But there's like different, um, different things you can be like. Um, uh, there's like Atillion, Atillion. How do you say that? There's um, there's uh, it's which is your heritage. It's basically this is your heritage, and the different heritages are dwarf, earthling. And then you're supposed to say what type of earthling you are. Elf, human, Atillian, Atillian, how do you say that word? And I'm not sure how you say this other word. Scamon? I don't know. S-K-A-I-M-O-R-N. I picked a Atillian, th Atillian, Atillian, how do you say it? Which is, I think that's L-I-L, -L, or it could be L-L-T-I-R-I-A-N. I'm not sure. But that's what I picked. Um, the guild. There's different guilds. I can't remember what all the guilds are. Oh, Order of the Crescent. House of the Arcade. Arcadian? How do you say that word? The the Mind Walker or the Archives. Um, G, if I remember, like I said, I'll post it. But G um, had like a, um, some kind of like... A, B, A, B, C, D, and you, she asked you certain things and you would pick from those and whatever one you got the most of or a symbol or something like that, I can't remember exactly, but whatever you got the most of when you answered the questions or whatever you want to say, that's what you would be um, into or, you know, what you call it into. I had two. I believe mine were, I could either be a mind walker or the archives. I picked the archives. Um, I don't remember exactly, like, all the info that you need. 
Um, I'll show you what the Attilian, Attilians, how you say that word, looks like. So this is what they look like. And they're described as pale. Um, they have like vampire t um, look to them. Um, I'm trying to remember what all she said about them. I know she said they had the ability to shape shift, but mostly are shape shift into. I can't remember what they shape shift into. Let me see if it tells you here. Oh, they also said they have. She said they have red glowing eyes and fangs, and they're very pale. Um, they have the ability to in it imitate. How do you say that? An imitate ability to shape shift, particularly to crow for. But I don't want to be a crow. I want to be a dragon. So my character is going to be able to shape shift shape shift into a dragon and it's gonna be a girl I don't have like a picture in mind yet for her well I have kind of a picture in mind like I have her like as yes, red like real pale face of course these cute little fangs I don't know I don't know like how the fangs are gonna look but I just see these cute little fangs and she's gonna have like long red hair to go with that Pell face. I just think that would be so cool. She's going to be the type of character that loves to be in like these long flowy red dresses, but there could be other color dresses too. She ain't going to be always in red, but I just picture her like in a lot of red different types of gowns. I don't know why. I don't know what to name her. I was talking, I don't know why, but for some reason, Tavia maybe? Maybe? What do you guys think about Tavia? I don't know why that came to mind. I kind of wanted something more sinister, like badass, but Tavia I just like, and it just popped into my brain, so I'm just going to say that's her name. I don't know, like, she don't really know, like, who she is or anything like that. She was dropped off at an orphanage. That's how I picture everything, like, in my story. I picture her, like, being, you know, sent there and being raised by the nuns until she becomes of a certain age and then she goes to a school when she becomes of age and she goes to the the um, dark meadow that's what this is um there's different things i don't remember what the other ones are let me see if i can find it really quick because there are um, on here somewhere where it tells you. Um, now I forgot what I was doing. Dark Meadow, yeah, Dark Meadow. Let me find it. See if I ha if I know what the other ones are. But mine is arch arch archives. But I'm pretty sure on here it has like what the other um, ones are. I think one of the prompts fit with the, uh, with that. I'm so sorry this is messed up, you guys. I haven't even talked about my, um, about the prompts yet, but I will, I promise. I'm just trying to find that page that, yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm sorry, you guys, I suck at finding stuff, but yeah. But anyways, mine is, like I said, is Dark Meadow, and this one it says, it talks about like how harsh the cold winters are, that it's a, it's snowy thunderstorms and shadow change, charge air, I mean. Um, it says that there this there's a few challenges in the land of the dark metal due to the hostile environment. Um, yeah, it says the terrain is difficult even for those na native to dark metal. It talks about like um, that there's like cities of dark meadow that are underground and that are sheltered inside the mountain. It says overnight stays on the surface are not advised. Only the scamora, mora, how do you say that word? Wisp were ever able to explore the surface fully. Alarmingly, they do not wish to share the findings in, I mean, of these parts with others. It is known, however, that dark meadow is home to dragons. And it says the underworld is a complex maze of a grand, of a grand, 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 grand underground city in crystal caves and tunnels. It mostly inhabited. It's mostly inhabited by Atillerians. Atillerians, how we say it? That's what I am. Like I was saying, 
who established and maintained the great underworld library. It says, access to the great trove of knowledge is closely guarded, making it very covered privilege for most scholars. It says, those few fortunate enough to receive such grace describe the site as breathtaking, marvelous, and glimmering with true light. It says, it's a rare, pure, silver light magic only found in dark meadow. It says, dwarves are among the most frequent visitors. Some have elected to stay forever. And the rust is cut off, so I can't tell you anything else. But yeah, I think you guys know me. I love vampires, so I I had to do this one. Okay, let's finally get to the prompts, you guys. Okay, let's get to the prompts. Some of them are in here, and some of them I, I um have on my phone because I forgot to download them for the, um, you know, building your character, like I was saying you have to do. Since I have um, these ones right now, I'll, well, no, actually, we'll go in order because I put my books in order. So let me turn on my phone and I'll read to you guys the prompts. These are very small, so I'm going to be like looking right on my phone. So the first one is your background. And for that one, um, I did, um, I picked Urban, which is a book set in city or town. Like I said, she said, if you already read something that you can use that one. So I re this month, I chose this one since I read it this month. I read You've Reached Sam. This is definitely, you know, fits that prompt. So that one's taken care of. The next one, I'm sorry, you guys, like I said, this is very small. The next one is The Providence. Oh, the, okay, so now I can tell you what the different provenance are. So you got Durham, something like that. I don't know how you say it. Dark Meadow, which I picked. Athrilia, something like that. And Carador, something like that. For that one, like I said, um, Dark Meadow, so it's to read a dark academy, academia. I don't know if I've read any dark academia er, lately, so um, tomorrow I'm getting the Atlas Six by... Olivia Blake. So I thought I would pick that for that one. Um, let's see. Then we got your heritage. And like I said, I picked a till a thrillion, a tillion, however you say that word. It says you either have to read a book with a crow on the cover or in the title or read a red covered book. I don't really have any like red cover books that sound interesting to me. So I just picked something that has a little bit of red. At least has some red right in here. And I don't know if that's supposed to be, if her hair is supposed to be red, purple, but it's close enough to a red that I'm going to count it. So I picked Tate by Tate James. Um, there's some little bit of red splattered right there. And all I know, I know this is a reverse harem. I guess that's what it is. And she, um, at the wrong place at the wrong time and she gets set up for something. And she thinks these guys are the ones that set her up. And she get her dad sends her away. And when she comes back, she finds out that the guy, the guy and his friends are living at her place because her dad is married, uh, marrying the mother of one of the boys. So, and she wants to plot revenge. And she also has a stock, a stalker that she has to deal with. So yeah. My friend Kehlani from Kehlani, Kehlani Simply Me loves this series. So I, yeah, I did read a, a little bit, but I'm just going to, since I just started it really and I forgot half of it because I've been sick. So I forgot lately like what I've been reading, what, what happened so far. I'm going to like start from the beginning and read it. But I'm not that far in. There's like over 400 pages, a little over 400 pages. So I still have over 300 to go, like 300 and like probably 15 pages. So yeah, I'm either going to restart it or just like read what I tabbed. Just so I have some idea. And then continue on. So that's that one. Let's see. Is that for that? I think that's it for that one. Yep. Okay, so one of the things you got to do is a cut, cut, I don't know how you say this word, 
I'm so bad, but it's like you could pick out different weapons or a weapon. Um, you you only have to pick one, but I have two because I want I want to try to get more than one um, one weapon. Um, so the first one that I chose is for the archives, since that's what I am. The archives, how you say it. And for that one, um, what the two weapons are pole arm and bone. And I picked pole, pole arm, or how you say it, which is book that's longer than 400 pages. So I picked, I heard book one of hate ends in a cliffhanger. So I picked liar book two to continue on. And this one has, I'm trying not to like, what you call it? 435 pages, so definitely over that. And then I picked also, up above they have Feather, Wand, Spell Book, Staff, and Sword. I also wanted a sword. And for that one, you have to read a book that has a blade on the cover. I'm going to read, I'm starting tomorrow my reread, even though I'll, I'll wait until Monday. But tomorrow, some people are like, do, are starting, like, the whole Sarah J. Mass, every single book of Sarah J. Mass, they're going to be reading. And starting tomorrow, they're starting with the Assassin's Blade, and you got two weeks to read this one, and then after that, they're going to go straight into Throne of Glass, and then the following time, they're going to like, and then they're going to go into, um, and then the following month, they're going to have like, um, you finish up um, Throne of Glass, and um, I think you also read. Crown of Midnight, I can't remember if it's Air of Fire. You start that month as well, I'm not sure. But I know that she's reading, that they're doing every single Sarah J. Mass book. So even Catwoman. So yeah, but I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, so they're going to start with this one. So I'm going to be rereading this one. And like I said, it has a blade. She's carrying blade and also there's the name blade on the cover. So I got that one. Good. So that's what I'm gonna do for the for the cutant or cu how do you say that word? And then the other one is your legacy. And like I said, um, mine is the archives. And there's these different ones. I don't know how to say them, so I'm not gonna name them all. But I picked Kovas, Kovas, something like that. It's K O V A S, which is God of War. And for that one, it says book set during a war. Or one that includes a war, fictional or not. Now this one, the guy is trying to actually stop a war from taking place. But there's already been like a war, there is a war going on because um, the one, the, um, what did they call him? The Northern Court King slaughtered. They're sliding all the witches and stuff like that. And then if they're still alive, the, um, he's trying to get them. You know. And um, the girl, um, these four guys find her. And they want her to help them, um, you know, stop war from happening in their spot, in their world. Or their, their um, culture. I don't know what you would say. But they're fae. So they want... Um, I'll just read to you what it says. It says, The handsome Prince Hal of the Eastern Kingdom wants to stop a war with the Northern Court before his kingdom befalls the same fate as Remy's. It says he needs a red witch, and Emmy may be, Remy, I mean, may be the only person alive who can help him. Can she really trust Prince Hal? Can her fallen court be resurrected from the evil clutches of the northern court king for the chance to save herself her people and help defeat the northern king remy must put her faith in hal and his companions on a dangerous dangerous quest to find lost relics so like i said i'm gonna count this as a war because there is a war going on with the with the guy with the king guy whatever you want to say and his thing with trying to kill the witches and now trying to like start a fight with the fae so yeah and that is it 
Let me know if you guys can think of like a better uh, like name than Octavia. Even though I love Octavia, or do you guys like that for the um, for how I describe my character? Do you think Octavia sounds like a badass name? I don't know. If not, let me know what you guys think would be a good name for her. Um, let me know if you're participating. If you are, what are you going to be reading? Or do you have a video? And I think that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, hit that bell icon. So you'll know whenever a video like this is going up for your viewing pleasure. Um, like I said, I will probably be doing this for the rest of the month once it starts on Monday. So yeah, because I, like I said, I have not read. That's why I have not put a TB, um, I mean, haven't did a video for this, this week. Because I have not hardly read anything at all this week. I've just been like in a slump. So pray for me, pray for me, pray for me that I'm going to be able to read again. I think it was just because I haven't felt good this week and I'm finally feeling better. So hopefully I'll be more in the mood to read. But yeah, like I said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, um, what was I going to say? Also, um, you know how I say my ending. If you don't like a book, please DNF. Remember, it doesn't hurt. It's a good thing to DNF once in a while if you're not feeling a book. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Comment down below, like I said, if you can think of a character name. And if you're not participating, just let me know how your reading month is going and what you've been reading lately. Until next time, I am out of here. Happy reading. <laughs>